In this Microsoft Word video, I will show you two different view options that we have in Word that both help us to be able to see at least two different parts of our document at the same time. And it even works if you want to see the beginning of your document at the same time that you see the end of your document. So if you think about it, that's one of the weaknesses that we have when composing a document. Maybe I'm working here on the bottom of page three but I would like to reference and maybe draw some inspiration from the beginning of my document. I don't want to have to keep scrolling down and up, back and forth throughout my document. So let's look at a couple of options we have. In Microsoft Word, if you go to the View tab and look at the View ribbon, one of the options we have here in the Window group is Split. So when I click this, it's going to split my window view. I click, and now I have a split window. The top half can scroll down, can scroll up to exactly the place in the document that I want to reference, let's say. And then the bottom half of my split view, I can browse down to, let's say, the bottom of page three, where I want to keep working. So I could just go in and tap enter, and it's easier now for me to compose this paragraph because I can see what I typed earlier. When you're done with the split view, if you don't need it anymore, just go back up to the view tab, view ribbon in the window group, there's remove split. So I'm going to go ahead and click remove split and I'm back to the traditional Microsoft Word view. Okay, so that's a wonderful way to be able to look at two parts of your document at the same time and easily switch back and forth. Let's look at a second method. And again, I'm gonna be here in the view tab, but this time it's in the zoom group. You should have a little button here with two pages side by side. Now for you on your computer, this may look a little different. I have a small screen size, and so all I get is this icon. For you, it may look a little different, but I'm gonna click that multiple pages button and you can see now I get a view of all three pages. Now this is not a print preview. I am actually still in edit mode. So I can click here, let's say after paragraph three, and I could continue typing and working on my document. I could then move to page three and work there. Yes, the font size is kind of small, but I love this that I can get a view of all of my pages simultaneously. Another way we can get to this same point where we're seeing all of our pages at once. Instead of clicking here on this button, you can click here on Zoom and then choose Many Pages. If you click OK, then it shows all of the pages. Now these are way too small for me, so I'm gonna click on Zoom again. This time, when I select Many Pages, I'm gonna choose the percentage. I could say Zoom to 75%, or I could put in a custom number, maybe 45%, click OK. And now I get the three pages side by side, and because I chose 45%, these are a little bit more readable than they were before. When you use this method of clicking on Zoom and choosing many pages, notice that there is a button here that you can click, and you can decide how those pages are organized. Now this is most useful if you have 10 or 15 pages. You could say, I want one times four pages, or I want two times four pages. It just tells Microsoft Word what layout you would like for the pages that are gonna be displayed. If I select this, they should all be horizontally side by side. Click OK, and they are. When you're done with this multiple pages view, all you have to do is click up here on the view tab in the view ribbon on the zoom group, you'll find 100%. And you can just click on that and you're back to the traditional Microsoft Word view. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that by clicking the thanks button below this video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I need to give a quick shout out to my loyal $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you've done to support my channel. I really appreciate you and actually all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you all so much.